You're coming? Hey everybody. How are you, my love? Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, be careful with the pumpkins. We are at a local little flower pumpkin park kind of thing on display. They're growing them as an experiment. Would you be careful, my love? I thought we would chat about. Hey, careful, my love. No, 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 don't pick those, love. You can't pick those. They aren't big enough yet. Yeah, I know. You're like, oh, coherent conversation. Thanks, I rose. Number one. Number one conversation. <laughs> okay. I thought I would talk about three of my. Hey, Bob, where are you going? Tips for. Uh, for speech therapy for kids with speech delays because as you know my little monkey here has had a pretty severe one his whole life and he's three now um, and we've really almost four and we're we're working um, you know a lot on without pressure but working on that and he has suddenly just this last year the last like last like eight months he's really just started talking and it's been beautiful not because you know you have to speak to communicate but because he has so wanted to be able to communicate and say things and discuss his feelings and tell stories and he wants to ask questions all the time. And this has been true for a long time and he just hasn't been able to communicate and it caused a lot of anger and aggression and acting out and so we've really been working through it. And he has a wonderful special ed teacher that works with him in the fall and spring and speech Mama, therapist that comes in. Yes, my love. Because they're growing though. And so through all of that, um, and working with a whole various bunch of professionals on it, um, we've kind of learned our tips that work for us. And he is your typical little boy. He is hyper and like rambunctious and wants to get all of his energy and be wild. And he also wants to sit and chat while jumping on your head, you know? Um, so it's not that he's a docile little quiet guy. He wants to talk, talk, talk. So one, is flashcards and that has been hello hello guys. <laughs> hello, hello guys hello guys flashcards number one have been so do you love your oh look at that look what he's got what is that in your hand a fruit fruit yeah oh my flashcards have been wonderful you can get them online you can get them um, at the dollar store if you just want to get some cheap ones and we've started out with things that are familiar to him that he really loves so that ended up being food and trucks and stuff to begin with and then slowly we've branched out and that has so helped him because it's something that he can be physical with he can grab him he can stomp on them he can play with them hey Bubba Goo what are you doing don't pick those those aren't those aren't for picking okay. so that has been immensely helpful for us because it is tactile and he can move around with it taken in the car yes my love mm -hmm. and then Number two that has really helped us is singing. And he spends all of his time telling me that I have a horrible singing voice and he hates me singing. But it has really helped him learn to sing song words as he's working on them without pressure. And that's been really good because that takes off the pressure of him feeling like he can't find that word. He can just sing little sounds until it comes out. That's been really wonderful. Number three is, and this also goes back to, you know, you don't want that to be a negative thing when they're having speech delays. Hey, Bubba Goo, come back over here. Oh, yeah. Are finding books that your child loves, that they love the illustrations of, that can help them identify sounds, words, that go together with them. And that can be something that helps their imagination because it focuses them, which can always be a problem. A lot of little kids have, you know, none of us want to focus. Um, and by finding a book that visually interests them, but it's not the outside world that's got all this crazy stuff going on. You can focus them to practice those words and to really pull them out in a fun way that doesn't, you know, put pressure on them or make them worry or make them fret or stress them out. So until next time, I hope that these are a quick three things that we have really found helpful for us. And it's made a big difference because we have certainly, you know, we are on this journey, right? It's like it's a big, long thing to work on. And I think sometimes I let it stress myself out more than it should because no, it's just words. Always picking. Of course, we can take a photo with pumpkin. But 
it has helped me to learn these things and it's certainly helped him immensely Mom, to be able to communicate. Absolutely. So until next time, check out the links in the description box. I would love it if you went and took a look at some of our books on Amazon that I write. Um, those are always my, my little book babies. So until next time, thank you so much. Hey, if you haven't already, always love it if you subscribe and join our family. I'm Rose. I'm mama to my three-year-old son who's got a number of different delays, but it's fabulous and wonderful. Um, and I would, I only use that term because it's that clinical term, right? I would never describe them as that otherwise. Um, and I write romance books and I do these YouTube channels on here and it's just a wonderful thing. So until next time.